Okay, another video here. This time I've got to work with Primer because I can input these kind of matrices into Primer but not into a package like Past PAST. And what I'm going to look at here is non-metric multi-dimensional scaling and how it works because as this is a permutation driven procedure it can be a little tricky to understand exactly how it operates. So what I've got here is a matrix showing distances between some major Australian cities in kilometres. So this is a distance matrix. Clearly a small number here means the two cities Sydney and Canberra are fairly close together 300k whereas a larger number here 4,000 is looking at the dis distance between Broome and Adelaide, which is obviously qu quite a long way. Now, the data I'm going to use today will be from two sites. This one here, driving distances, and this one here, Australian air distances, which is provided by the Australian government. So back to Primer. Now, ordination methods such as PCA, principal components analysis, principal co coordinates analysis, and multidimensional scaling use a distance or resemblance matrix. Now, in some cases, we're looking at a distance matrix where naught means the two items are exactly the same in the same location and a large number means they're further apart or a similarity matrix which is interpreted the other way with similarities or resemblances small numbers mean that the things are dissimilar and large numbers mean that they are more similar in this particular application primer it will recognize distances or resemblances and treat them appropriately. So what does MN NMDS do? The first thing it does is it does not work with these actual distances. What it does is it goes and replaces these with ranks. So first of all it will find the two locations that are most similar two sites or samples and tag them with a one. So that's the 305 here and then it will scan through the matrix looking for the next smallest distance or the next largest similarity which is going to be this one over here 755 and it'll tag that with a 2 and it will continue what's the next largest one that's 895 down here and so on and we will end up with all of these distances replaced with ranks now in doing that we lose some information obviously. The Canberra and Sydney are 300 k's apart. Melbourne and Adelaide are 750. And Sydney and Melbourne are 895. If we rank if we rank those 1, 2 and 3 we're essentially saying they are equally distantly apart which is not correct we're losing some fine detail in there in any case having done the ranks MDS and MDS then tries to arrange the points on a map so that their ranking on the map in other words their the ranking of the distances on the map is the same as in the table. So here's MDS. Now you'll see down here number of restarts and what that means is this is an iterative program it repeats and so it runs once to get the best fit it can and then runs again and runs again because it has a random starting point. So it runs through a number of different restarts to try and get the best fit that it can. So off we go. 
and here we go with the result. Now the first thing is the stress up here in the corner, 0 0.04. Stress measures the difference between the original ranking and the ranking based on the map that comes out here. I'll come back to the map in a second. So here it's putting out the best configurations and from these it pulls out the best graph. Okay, now when we look at this graph, as it happens with this one, it's come, ar come out orientated around the right way. So we've got Darwin, Broome, Perth on the west side and Melbourne, Sydney, Canberra and Brisbane on the east side. And the result here is actually not too bad. Now clearly Canberra and Sydney are probably closer together than they are in practice and Melbourne should really be further south than Perth but remember it's working with a very limited amount of information in terms of the rank order of the distances and so the end result here is not too bad. Now when I showed you the data sources the first one was this one here driving distances the second one I went to here was air distances and air distances are going to be straight line distances so we might assume that air distances will give us a better result so let's see how that goes um, if we go down here to the graph now I've got a slightly different set of cities here I think but here we have it for Canberra and Sydney 236 that'll be rank number one and then uh, Canberra Adelaide nope over here Canberra Hobart 850 is the next one and then I think we go to Cambria Adelaide over there same deal MDS and this one is also coming around in the cor correct orientation when I ran these earlier today as a test they came out upside down and then it's simply a matter of going flip X or flip Y to get the the correct orientation. Um, uh, this one doesn't have Melbourne in, that's where it is. New I left out of city. So again Hobart should be further south than Perth uh, and Broome is actually closer to Perth than it is to Darwin so the representation is reasonable. Stress here is zero so the ranking here is the same as in the original table so the general placement is good but there's some loss of detail because we're working with ranks instead of actual distances. Now my last demonstration here will be to use PCO principal coordinates because principal coordinates uses the distances. And you can see here, again, we've got the correct orientation. You can see here that using the actual distances instead of the ranks doesn't actually improve the outcome particularly much. Um, looking down here, 68% of variation is actually due to east-west differences among the cities, and 32% of the variation is due to north-south distances among the cities. So in this case, the PCO axes are very readily interpretable in terms of actual physical underlying distances. So what this shows you here, the fact that this is not that much better than the MDS based on ranks, is that the rank MDS does work fairly well at capturing as much of the underlying pattern as you can get from that set of data. Um, and the Perhaps the final thing to say here is these distances are just based on two things really north south and east west differences in terms of the locations. Okay, hopefully that explains a little better what the MDS procedure is doing. 
and how it is a little different from the other types of ordinations but still as you can see here will often give a result that is sensible and interpretable.